Hello everyone, my name is Dragos, I am the master baker so to speak from the e-learning bakery and today I thought I would share uh, with you a trick that I've just um, come up with um, and basically it's all to do with how to insert citations from protected PDFs into your preferred referencing software. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Zotero which is a tool uh, that I've uh, discovered very recently and I quite like the look of and basically I enjoy the, the layout and the functionality of the, of the tool. I also uh, quite like the buttons that get um, inserted automatically into uh, Word which will allow me to insert my uh, references from the Zotero database. Um, all this um, is inserted automatically as soon as you install the Zotero desktop um, solution and the problem that I'm having is that at the moment I'm reading this PDF uh, from my library and there are bits in it which um, I, I really like and I would like to keep. Um, for instance, this interesting statistics that at the moment 90% of translation buyers outsource most of the, uh, of the work um, that they, they do. And um, that's quite interesting news for, for the translation uh, field. So at the moment, because the PDF is protected, I can't right-click um, and I can't copy or um, any anything in it. At the moment, the only choice that I have is to kind of go back and forth between my Zotero uh, database and um, the PDF and try and copy, well, remember and then type everything. Um, one way around it could be perhaps to use voice recognition, but it's still a it's a, a process. So I thought, what if I use some other tool uh, which has uh, an nifty function that I, I could uh, really do it at the moment. And I remember that in Microsoft OneNote there is an option of inserting screen clippings or images and then you can ask Microsoft to uh, OneNote to um, do a, a basically an optical character recognition on your images. So let's see if this works. Um, I've just opened OneNote and I've got a, a scrap um, note that I'm just going to use to dump things in. Uh, I'm going to use the screen clipping tool which takes me to uh, the, the screen that I've just left. So uh, because I, I can't really, I, I can only select f full uh, lines, I will select both of these lines automatically they get inserted into the OneNote area. Um, I select the image and then right click and this is the really cool feature that I mentioned, uh, the copy text from picture. I click on that and then I put my cursor a few lines below, paste it and there it is. So it's got one error um, in it which I can correct uh, very quickly. Uh, let's see, the name seems to be all right. And what do I need? I need this uh, statistics. Nearly 9% of translation buyers outsource. Nearly 9% of translation buyers outsource. And that's it. I quite like the look of this. I can now select it, copy it, go to my Zotero. Um, this is actually the, um, the reference that I wanted to add. So this is on page two. Paste it. Bam. There it is. Um, I can also add tags. Um, for instance, if I wanted, this is about translation. It's about localization. Brilliant. And there it is. Um, and it's really good because it seems to be accurate um, even when it comes to bigger um, chunks of text. So for instance, if I wanted this whole um, citation, I could do exactly the same. I go into OneNote, choose the screen clipping, select the, the whole chunk. And you can notice that in the background there is also a watermark and it's interesting to see how, how much this will influence the quality of the, of the character recognition. Copy text from picture, a few lines down, control V to paste everything, 
and on first look it's actually very good so I quite like this select all control C Zotero new note still on page 2 control V some tags localization uh, not that one but rather that one and uh, translation as well get rid of the, the one that I didn't mean to put in there and there we are another very easy to introduce um, citation for me I hope this is um, this has been useful um, remember don't pirate publications um, always reference and if you need any other e-learning recipes I look forward to seeing you on the e-learning bakery take care